Joseph Goldstone. I'm an image science engineer at Aerie Burbank, and I'm here in the reference screening room at the Aerie booth at NAB 2012, and I wanted to talk to you about what we're showing. What we have here is two monitors, both Dolby PRM 4200s. The monitor on the left is set up like a standard CRT reference monitor. It has a 103 candela per meter squared reference white. The monitor on the right has a reference white of 600 candelas per meter squared, six times as bright as the one on the left. What we're doing, rather than a simple scaling operation, is taking the elements of the scene, we are matching them in absolute luminance until you get to where you would have a white reflector in the scene, and then we are opening up the highlights with that extra brightness from 100 nits to 600 nits. And what you'll see is things like clouds in the sky that previously were kind of monotone suddenly open themselves up and you see detail again. In outdoor scenes, what can happen is you have a brightly lit rock face, all this detail comes back. You have clouds in the sky. Um, again, all of this texture of the clouds that had been compressed together by the traditional CRT shoulder at the top of the tone rendering comes back. We have several pieces in here that show this. This is a boxing piece. There are no clouds in the boxing ring. We shot the two on a Cameron Pace Group uh, 3D rig, but with the interocular set to zero. So one camera was recording the scene at 24, the other at 48. We're playing back to match those capture rates. If you look at the light array that's in the upper left, what you can see is that in the 100 candela per meter squared case, these are opaque white circles. But if you look over here, you can see the reflectors, you can see the fact that they're concave, you can see the filaments inside the lamps. If you were to actually take a meter and measure this peak white and this peak white, you'd find that this actually is six times as bright, more than two stops brighter. In addition to the boxing material that we're showing, we also have 65 millimeter scanned film, a uh, Bill Bennett ASC piece uh, called As Good As It Gets that was shot several years ago and a restored uh, scan of The Name of the Rose, Sean Connery film from about 20 years ago, 35 millimeter. Two pieces by Bill Bennett ASC round out the collection. There is capture of the STS-135 shuttle launch, the last shuttle launch, and it's a pretty magnificent takeoff shot. Take a look at the base of the solid rocket boosters and the way that the intensity of the light coming out of that on the right hand monitor at 600 candelas per meter squared just pops off the screen. It's really obvious how it contrasts with the white base of the booster immediately above it on the 600 candela per meter squared monitor, whereas it's a bit more subtle over here. The other piece that Bill shot was a helicopter going past downtown LA. Uh, take a look in the canyons between the tall buildings and you'll see the red taillights really at golden hour just pop out of the frame on the right hand 600 nit monitor um, that just they're there but they just don't pop like that in standard CRT reference mode so I think if you come down what you will see is an image that you just have not seen before we're in the central hall booth 6737 come down check us out